Toastmasters and guests. Uh, today, I, I would not like to speak uh, with you about uh, the 14th of February or the coming 23rd of February or 8th of March and other parties. And instead, I would like to talk with you about me. As you know, on uh, February 26th, it will be the Oscar Award. Do you know which was the year when the Oscar Awards were first uh, granted? Maybe some of you know. Well, actually it was in uh, 1929. So, dear fellow Tasmanians, uh, I would like you to give the award for the movies that you liked during the year of 2000. We will uh, have some nominations for the best movies of uh, 2011 and uh, I would like uh, to start with the award of best movie of 2011. Would someone uh, like to give this award? Maybe someone has a movie that grabbed him during the last year. Ah, oh, please. <laughs> The best movie I've just, I saw last year was Helen by uh, our outstanding young uh, producer and uh, director uh, Andrei Zvyagintsev. And I think it's a great pity that due to some intrigues it wasn't put forward to Oscar as the best foreign film. And uh, as a result, that uh, famous, in brackets, uh, film Citadel, of course, didn't win anything. Yes. That's why my strong uh, conviction is that Helen is the best film of the year. Thank you. the best animated movie of 2011. Does someone like animated movies here? Yes, uh, yes of course. <laughs> well, if nobody else wants to get to this floor, Denise will give his award. But as Henry told me not <laughs> to give <laughs> prohibited. Strictly prohibited me to give you the floor, I would like to ask someone else. Okay, I still can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're stop welcome. Asking, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> it is your will. Okay. Actually, yes, I do love animated movies per se. <laughs> but the problem with me, I already won the award master, yes. One of the day. Award. But the problem is, I actually love, there is a very spiritual, very deep philosophical animated movie, Kung Fu Panda. And I love watching it over and over again. Unfortunately, I don't know about modern animated movies, but I would give Kung Fu Panda... Kung Fu Panda Part 2. It was, to be not very politically correct, trash. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, but, but let it be Kung Fu Panda 2 because Kung Fu Panda 1 was actually a rather good movie. I recommend all of you watch Kung Fu Panda. It is a very deeply philosophical movie worth watching. Okay. I watched this movie when it first uh, came to our country. It was about four, four years ago, I think. And uh, the Kung Fu Panda second part, I did not like it. I told you it was trash. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, we will go to the next award, and it will be the best actress in leading role. In 2011? Yes, Dmitry, please. <coughs> I would like to tell you about a movie which impressed me uh, greatly in 2011. And it is movie Blue Valentine. I don't know if any one of you uh, have seen it, but uh, it is uh, a very strong drama 
about relationship and about how uh, it is difficult to save relationships uh, in our da uh, daily, <coughs> daily life routine. So, the best actress. This movie is about uh, a pair of young people, uh, a man and a woman. Uh, and they met each other and they get married and then they trying to uh, save their marriage, to save their life. So, uh, the actress which was uh, starring in this film is Michelle Williams. Uh, <laughs> maybe you don't know her is, uh, either, but uh, she's a very talented young actress. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, the film which is called Seven Days with Marilyn Monroe uh, started in Moscow and she is playing Marilyn Monroe there. So, uh, I would like uh, all of you to uh, to know this actress because she's very talented and her acting uh, is wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. I completely agree with you that Michelle Williams is a great actress. Uh, about two weeks ago I saw her last movie, Seven Days with Marilyn, and I enjoyed it very much. It was impressive. So, we are going to the next award, uh, Best Visual Effects. So it happens that only yesterday I managed to see some film, so-called in English, um, lost in translation, but in Russian, трудности <coughs> перевод. I have never seen it before. I saw it yesterday, and during yesterday's day and today, I'm thinking of it, in spite of the fact that uh, there is no, nothing interesting, nothing special, and nothing unusual in this film. Nevertheless, I was thinking, and I mean, uh, thinking of this, time and go back and I'm, uh, I'm thinking about the actresses and actors and uh, probably of course it's um, <coughs> the <coughs> uh, main role of Coppola who produced this film but I recommend if somebody uh, anybody doesn't see please go and join me <laughs> in seeing it the scene is made in Tokyo, mm -hmm. but it's very important, but it's beautiful, um, beautiful scenes of uh, streets and in the nature of Tokyo. She also participated in the casting for the movie Seven Days with Marilyn, but Michelle Williams won in that casting. <laughs> and by the way, speaking about her too, uh, not so long time ago I saw a movie by Woody Allen, Match Point, and uh, it is a great movie with Scarlett Johansson, and I highly recommend you to watch this movie. It is actually one of the best movies that I have seen in the last year. Uh, did you also like it? Very much. Yes, it's great. So, uh, I think that we have come to the nomination of the best director <coughs> of 2011. Who would you give this nomination? Sergei, I know that you are willing. I think that the best director of 2011 is Lars Trier for his movie, Melancholia. Mm -hmm. The movie is the best movie of the year. Best actress is from Melancholia. <laughs> <laughs> but the question was uh, who is the best director, and I think uh, the last three of these. Actually, I also like this movie. I saw it last weekend, 
and uh, <laughs> and um, I was very impressed by the way that Lars von Trier presents the nature and uh, this uh, planet Melancholia. So, uh, which movie do you think is the best foreign language film? Speaking about not Russian movies, but uh, movies from another country. Please. of this movie just appealed to me and it showed me that uh, every generation dreamed of uh, living in another generation in the previous one and we always think that uh, other generations were better but it's not the truth so um, I think this movie is the best one at least it uh, influenced me a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> means that it is uh, not the principal role. A role of secondary importance. Yes, a role of secondary importance. Who would like to give this nomination? <laughs> Try another one. Oh, thank you. Uh, Dmitry, please. nominated not this year but the previous year and it is the movie um, The King's Speech uh, and uh, uh, yes <laughs> it really is a great movie about uh, the King of England uh, who uh, uh, had problems uh, with uh, his addiction uh, he has a stammer and uh, the best supporting role goes to uh, the person who is playing uh, his uh, teacher who helps him to overcome his stammer and it is Jeffrey Rush. Jeffrey Rush uh, this Australian actor and it is one of the best best supporting role performances which I've seen for the last years. So mm -hmm. that's it. Thank you. 
think of seeing some Western films. So this uh, King speech, and uh, you see, it seems to me, and I think it's not only my opinion, that the role of this logopet is the main one in this film. King is su is supporting. <laughs> Thank you.